guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to be doing an update to a video I did last week dealing with a guy that a Kansas City court declared that this guy, they ruled that this guy who donated his sperm to a same-sex lesbian couple back in 2014, in the video I did before, that court ruled that he was on the hook for child support and all that. Okay, and obviously the whole article goes into his story where basically he responded to a Craigslist ad, which sounds crazy, but it happened. Truth is stranger than fiction. And he donated his sperm to the same sex couple. They inseminated uh, the one woman in the couple. She inseminated herself without a doctor. And then a few years later, the couple split up. You know, they had the child, the couple split up. The one woman fell on hard times. I think she got sick or injured and uh, applied to the state for government assistance. And big surprise, the state of Kansas goes after this guy to take care of child support, saying that he's the father. Even though he signed signed rights away and had nothing to do with it, they didn't go after her ex-partner who she raised the child with. She went after the guy. And so I was making the point with the video, guys. Bottom line is, don't donate your sperm because it could come back to haunt you one day. And so, a lot of guys commented that there was an update to this where the guy actually won a few years later. So, this article, which I'm going to do today, is talking about how he won. So, you know, thank God for that. So, this follow-up article is titled, Kansas Judge Rules Sperm Donor Not on Hook for Child Support. Starts out saying, a Topeka man who answered a Craigslist ad to donate sperm so two women could have a baby together is not legally the child's father and isn't required to provide financial support a Kansas judge has ruled. The State Department of Children and Families has not had not decided as of Tuesday whether it would appeal last week's ruling by Shawnee Court District Judge Mary Mativi. The department sought to force William Morota to pay child support for the girl born in December 2009. Mativi last year required Morota to submit a DNA sample to confirm that he was the girl's biological father and declared he was not a mere, uh, mere donor of sperm. But the judge's November 22nd ruling concluded that the birth mother's former partner should be considered the child's second parent rather than Morota in part because he had the minimal contact with the girl. And in the previous uh, article, guys, which I did the video on last week, the guy said that he had saw the girl just one time, that he was out either with his girlfriend or wife and happened to run into her. I don't know how you happen to run into somebody in a big state like Kansas, but okay. But he ran into her. That's it. Meanwhile, they're now going after uh, the ex-partner to the birth mother of this child. And here's the big question. Why didn't they go after her from the get-go. Well, we all know why, at the end of the day, it obviously had to do with politics, because obviously Kansas is a red state, if I'm not mistaken, and very conservative, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. And they didn't want to, you know, I guess acknowledge or give any kind of a validity to same-sex couples, so they went after the guy instead of the woman. And again, this guy, from the goodness of his heart, for whatever whatever happened to be, why, whatever his reason was to donate the sperm, who knows? Again, it's crazy that he did it from a Craigslist ad. I mean, a lot of people got a lot of good laughs out of that, but it is what it is. What happened, happened, but it is good now that they are realizing, wait a second here, how about we uh, contact the child's, you know, the one that helped raise the child for support here, instead of just going after this guy who was just trying to help, even though wasn't the smartest idea. The article goes on to say, the department filed a petition in 2012 to have Moroda declare the child's legal father and require him to pay child support after the woman, birth mother Jennifer Schreiner and Angela Bauer separated and Schreiner received assistance from the state. The department initially sought to reclaim almost $6,100 in expenses associated with the child's birth. Yeah, like I said in the uh, thing before, um, no good deed goes unpunished. This guy tries to help him out, and look what happens. And notice how uh, they didn't exactly try to come to his aid about all this. The birth mother just wanted the money. The case illustrated how older laws on assisted reproduction in Kansas and others have not been updated. 
Charles Baylor, Maroda's attorney, said the Kansas agency's position was radical and discriminated against same-sex couples. He says, if the presumptive parent, in this case the non-biological mother, had been a man, they never would have gone after the sperm donor, Baylor said. Absolutely. If it was a guy, if it was just a couple that couldn't get pregnant, and for whatever reason, they put an ad to have a, a sperm donor, and this guy came and did it, and you know, she did the insemination, and this guy, because obviously, you know, he was shooting blanks or whatever, and then they separated. You bet your ass the state would contact him and go after him for the money, but not in this case. The agency argued that Moroda was legally on the hook for child support, even though he never intended to act as the child's father, because the two women did not use a physician. In her ruling, Matibi said Bauer is unable to work and is receiving Social Security disability benefits. A 1994 Kansas law says a man who provides donated sperm to a doctor for an insemination is not the child's parent, absent a written agreement saying otherwise. Marotta and the two women signed a contract in which they agreed to pay him $50 for every semen donation. Legal documents say Schreiner was impregnated with the syringe in early 2009. Secretary Phyllis Gilmore and the department is disappointed with Mativi's ruling, adding in a statement that the law pertaining to sperm donors is clear and was ignored in this ruling. Courtney Jocelyn, a University of California Davis Law Professor, said the Commission on Uniform State Laws recommended in 2000 and 2002 that states eliminate a requirement that physicians be involved in assisted reproduction to protect sperm donors. Eleven states adopted its recommendations, and California independently repealed the requirement as of this year, she said. Nine states and the District of Columbia have laws that treat an unmarried partner as a legal parent when there is assisted reproduction, Jocelyn said. Matibi's latest ruling noted that Schreiner and Bauer are parenting the girl together and that Kansas courts have long held that the child's best interest is the key issue. The judge said Bauer's presumption of parenthood is superior to Moroda's. A friend of Moroda started a GoFundMe page to raise money for his legal expenses. As of Tuesday, the effort had raised about $2,300. So, the first article I did, that video from last week, I believe it was on Friday, that was in 2014. And although it's shit six years old, it's still relative, it's still interesting to show how, once again, the deck is stacked against guys. They're going to go after the guy instead of the woman, right? And this is from 2016. So it took a, a couple of years of having to go back and forth and this guy, is life, his life being interrupted to finally get this ruling. So, but the moral of the story is, guys, as I said in the other video multiple times, given how things are in this day and age, if you ever have the inkling to do a good deed and help someone with the sperm donor or something like that, don't do it. Because even though you might be okay in the beginning, years later, that may come back to haunt you and bite you in the ass. Like I said, I did another article probably about six, seven weeks ago about this guy who, he was in medical school and he was friends with another girl who was in medical school. And either maybe when they got out, she couldn't, she had wanted to have, basically she didn't have a guy, so she wanted to get pregnant. So he helped her in that department. And basically, I think easily 15 years later, she came after him for the money. Even though she's a wealthy doctor, did well for herself, had no problem providing for the children, she still wanted more money and went after this guy that was just trying to help her out. You know, it's ridiculous. So guys, don't do any donations of sperm. It's not worth it. And any of you young guys that are hard up for money and need to make a quick buck, again, don't do it. It can come back to cost you way, way more than you may make, make donating your seed. Okay, but it's really good to hear. I'm really happy to hear that this guy, the court ruled in his favor. It only took, took two fucking years to do it. So, but lesson learned. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.